this ends now. Welcome back to Comic Plays Pikmin. I'm Comic, and we are at the final trial. I have most of the ship parts. Um, the dolphin's all ready to go. I can finally return home. But something's missing. And I intend to get it. I am not leaving this planet without every part of the dolphin. So we are going to make an even team. I'm going to take a... Yeah, that. There we go. Okay, guys, I'd be lying if I didn't say I'm a little bit nervous about this because, um, I've been in the final trial before, uh, a few times actually, but I don't have like a perfect memory of it. I even, I've said this before, um, I refused to look at a guide for this. Even though I've been it before, I wanted to do it all either from memory or just like pure intuition. Um, because I even have the player's guide back from when this game first came out. So if I wanted to be cheap, I could. Um, I could look at exactly what to do all the time, but I wanted to add in at least a little bit of that, like, figuring out what to do aspect of the game. Yep, Wet Willy. Sorry, Wet Willy, there aren't, there aren't any blues here for you to masquerade as. Really, really grown attached to all of my little Pikmin here. It, it worries me that not all of them will come back alive. In fact, many of them will fail to come back alive. We're going to come up here. We are going to get some bombs so that we can get that stone wall. We can get to that stone wall as soon as the blue Pikmin finish the bridge over to it. Alright. One more up there one of you guys can get. This part kind of makes me a little nervous, too, because um, combining bombs with throwing over water is just... I, <laughs> I don't know. It's not really dangerous, but I don't want to make any mistakes. Don't want to make any mistakes. So, final trial, I like to think of as two different phases. There's the how do I get to the end phase, and then there's a boss at the end. There is the biggest monster in the whole game, I think so. Um, worse than the Smoky Prog. Worse than... Not worse than a lot of the stuff in Pikmin 2, or even Pikmin 3. But... But pretty nasty. A pretty nasty beast. These guys are so close to the water, and I know as soon as they, like, get their toes wet, they're gonna start drowning. Okay. Guys, thank you. Did great work here. This is a fine quality bridge. I thrown that one a little late. Oh, one guy didn't want to uh, didn't want to throw his bomb. That's okay though. Three, three was enough. Three was enough bombs. Okay, you guys, start working on this bridge. Um, I like this level a lot. Um, I like how it incorporates kind of all the different roles of Pikmin and really, really puts them in tandem. So, Red Unit. Not since, um, not since getting the Libra in the one area. As, ah, whoops. <laughs> ah, sorry, buddy. Sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. I'm sorry, Robert. Alright, so we got a little fire path there. And these guys can come around this way. Can I, can I throw you? Can I throw you to safety? No, I can't. Oh, no. No. Oh man, he hung in there for a while though. Okay, first two casual casualties to the final trial, and we have not seen a single enemy yet. 
That is that is just fantastic. Okay, so you guys gotta finish this bridge. You're almost done? Good. And hmm. What do I do here? What do I what do I do? There's a box up there. I need to move the box. But to move the box I need to get up to the box. How do I do that? Um, see, this is what I mean. I had to, you know, make myself actually figure out what to do. Because there's no way anybody but Reds is surviving up there. I could, it would be too dangerous for me to walk across, and even if it weren't, I can't get up there. There's a little ledge there. So, let me think. Let me think what I'm supposed to do. Also, this little, like, cutout here. I don't think that's important, though. Okay, box. Box here. Can I reach any of them? No. No, they're all too far over. Okay, new plan. 20 mo 21. 21 more reds. Look at all these flowers. Look at all these flowers I got. I've been doing a good job. I've been doing a good job cultivating lots of different kinds of Pikmin. Oh, there's a little avenue over here, too. I think that's... I think that's for a return trip, though. Okay. <laughs> Somebody uh, told me about... I had forgotten all about it, but there's the uh, sea stick, The sea stick trick. Um, you can get Pikmin... You can throw Pikmin a lot faster by holding the sea stick in the direction... Which is a little bit difficult because ordinarily you press the A button and tilt the C stick with the same thumb. Um, so you either have to have two thumbs or be a little bit clever. The blues are going to come over here. Alright, reds. Gonna kind of kind of need to guide you around. Is this working? Can't tell this is working. Yeah, there we go. And move the box. There you go. There you go. You got it. You got it, guys. Good. Alright. There it is. There it is, the big finish. Oh boy, I'm nervous. And I know this is gonna I know this is gonna take me more than one day. I know it. Alright, bombers. I feel like I might be able to use you guys. So you guys come along. Wait here. Huh. <sighs> All right, you ready? To all ye who are about to die, we salute you. Ah, uh, don't like the look of this plant. Oh! Oh, look at it! Oh no! Behold the Emperor Boblax. In all of his big fat glory. Ah, he's huge. He's a giant bulb orb. He's a Chinese buffet's worth nightmare. He's got a huge tongue, and only his face is vulnerable. He's got a lot of health, which is why it takes so many days to defeat him. Okay, gonna have to draw him out. And sea stick this. Uh, move. All right. See already, he's just he's just taking them like candy. Just taking them like candy. I'm I'm down to 33 out of the 100 I started, and I have not even done 25% health to him. 
and the camera is not doing me any favors. Can jump? All right. Just kind of taking this slow, though. It's only day 23. I got all the time I need. Ah, but what a beast. And he doesn't even, like... When he first appears, there is, like, no delay. As soon as you proc him, he busts out. He scatters all your Pikmin. This guy does not waste time. All right. Get hit, slowly but surely. Throwing everybody I got at him. Joshua, Nietzsche... Got 21 guys left. Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. Or it would be a Pikmin had blood. It's going to be a chlorophyll bath. What do you guys think? You think we could take them with these, with these few, these 17? I don't think so. But actually doing pretty well. Already almost gotten down to half, half health. So, let's try something a little bit different. I have five bombers here. You want to eat? Have a snack. Uh. Oh, that stuns him. I forgot it stuns him. Oh, I could do that a lot better. I could do that way better, actually. What? What? You can't get me. I'm outside. Yeah, you wallow back to your little sty. Come on. Come on! Trying to get, like, the sides. I don't want to get, like, right on his nose. Because then I feel like it's really easy for them to, for him to, like, scoop them up with his tongue. I, I want to try and get them on his teeth, on his big, floppy jowls. Like a bulldog. It's actually a lot easier now that I have le less Pikmin to keep everybody alive. This, uh, this lucky, this lucky 12, this Ocean's 12. I forget who's in Ocean's 12. Al Pacino, Danny Glover. That's these guys' names now. Uh, Kevin Spacey. I don't think any of those guys are in Ocean's 12. I, f I forget the names of the actors in that film. I don't have time. I don't have time to watch movies right now. I'm fighting, I'm fighting the behemoth. Hey, hey, so it's getting late. Um, it's getting late. You want to uh, maybe call it a break here, Bulblax? Big Willy? Big Bertha? Not Big Bertha. We know it's a guy because it's the Emperor. It's the Emperor, Bulblax. Ah, oh, that guy is crushed. Oh, getting more crushed. Oh, I died. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, he took out Alomar. You douche. Thank goodness he was able to get back alive, but but that's a uh, that is a TPK. That's a TPK. That's all right though. We have the Pikmin power. We can do it. I just wish we didn't have to. We I just wish we didn't have to lose so many lives. Come on, onions. Those guys getting left behind by ah uh, one of its offspring. His cousin Jerry. Twenty three days since impact. I've been careless, sustaining damage beyond my spacesuit's limits. My crisis transport system saved me, but I lost all of the Pikmin I had with me. I must pay closer mind to my spacesuit damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. I can press A by, by the dolphin to repair my suit. Um, so, that's uh, 101. 101 Pikmin killed today. Nice. Coming back for you, though, you asshole. Alright, all you guys. All you guys. Not gonna bring any blues. Not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother bringing blues. Look at him. 
look at him. He's just he's just looking at it. Take the bomb. Take the bomb. No, he thinks he he thinks he has the bomb. What it guys. Guys, what is going you're facing the wrong way. You're not holding anything. People people are drowning while you're goofing off. Okay, lost four Pikmin trying to get bombs. That's okay, there's two ways to win this fight. There's be good at fighting, which I am not. And there's be good at time management so that you have a lot of days left over and can just take him out by sheer attrition. Gonna be a little more strategic about this today though. First, we're gonna sneak around. Don't wake up daddy. Don't wake up daddy. Let's take out this wall. Some more bombs up there. We can use those. Bombs are going to be the key. Okay, new bomb squad. And you guys, wait here. Just suit up. Suit up on bombs. This is it. This ends today. You will not live in fear any longer. The age of Pikmin has come. Everybody, I want you to meet Ivan. Ivan's going to do something very valuable today. Him and his entire crew here. It'll be their sacrifice that will allow us to win today. Men. It's been a pleasure to fight along such brave comrades. Go, Ivan! Godspeed! Alright. You wanna eat? Have a snack. Eat up, fatty! What? He regened? I didn't think he regened. Oh, he regened like all of it! Okay, fine. We gotta do this in one day. We will do this. We will do this all in one day. Yeah, screw your organ music, fatty. Oh, too close. I got too close. Oh no, I got too close. Alright. Alright, can we talk about this? Gonna need wave two. Gonna need wave two of reds. You gonna stop moving? You gonna go back to sleep? Are you, are you gonna relax? You gotta stay. You gotta stay in your house. Alright, I messed up. That wasn't good. But I can't lose hope now. If I lose hope, their deaths will have been in vain. Pikmin, today we celebrate our Independence Day. I mean, you're not independent from me, but but I'll leave the planet, and then you'll be independent. Truly, Pikmin, it is time for you to prove yourselves. It is time for you to take back your world. Alamar, you can't send these Pikmin into fight. Look at them. Look at their tiny leaves. They are but children. They don't know the struggles of war. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. But we must. We must fight. They must win a brighter day for their children. And their children's children. The minstrels will sing of their brave sacrifice. Ah, oh, it's already noon. It's already noon. Ah, oh, get away from me. Get away! No! Why is the music still so, like, kind of happy? Alright, men. I can never thank you enough. See you on the other side. Don't, don't chase into him. No. Ah, oh, he's hopping mad. Oh, he's hopping mad. I didn't know he did that. I'm down to three. I'm down to three Pikmin. Holy crap. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, he's got the jukes. No, you will not dunk me. You will not dunk me, Bo Blacks. I will dunk you. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
I didn't realize this is what I was stockpiling so many red Pikmin for. It is horrible. I am a monster. There are no there are no winners in war. Especially not that guy. Ugh. Sorry, no time. No time to save you. I have to get home. I have to see my family. Oh, they're all just drowning. Some of them aren't even making it to the battlefield. They're all just drowning. Alright, come on. And he jumps. And he jumps again. Oh my god! Oh my god, that was like 70 Pikmin! These guys are too slow. They're too slow. They're leaves. They're too slow. We gotta end it. We gotta end it, but there's not enough. There's just not enough of us. He's using the camera against me. Clever bastard. Come here, fatty. Tongue. Tongue time. Tongue time. Oh my god! I forgot how hard this actually was. Blue team, it falls to you. You're my only hope now. At least I don't have to worry about these guys falling off the bridge and dying. Though, if they fall off the bridge, they don't make it to the battlefield, and then what's even the point? There's not enough time in the day. There's not enough time. We're almost out of time, and then he regains all of his health. Okay, you two. You're gonna have to join me. Ah, so many leaves. So many little innocent children lost. This is the most violent game of all time. Ah, this is a massacre. They're bouncing off of his rock-hard lips. I think the C-Stick actually isn't the best way to go here. Oh my god, he's so fast. I'm so bad at this. I didn't practice. That's the thing. That's the thing. This is, this is like, this is real. I did not practice doing this. I was tapping the A button there and Olimar just like wasn't throwing. Oh my god! Is there nothing? Is there nothing I can do to him? over. No. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. He's too beastly. His powers are too great. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bolblax. You have bested me. You have bested me, Bolblax. No. <laughs> no. That is the saddest day of my Pikmin-related life. Oh my god. All the flowers meant nothing. I don't deserve this happy music. Oh, this is Pikmin genocide on the highest level. He gained so many calories from all that Pikmin. Some of them left behind. Scraps for the children. I'm only making the Bulborb stronger. He's gonna regain all of his health. Day 24 since impact. Emperor Poblax, my radar indicates that a gigantic member of the Bulborb species has swallowed the dolphin's final part. Yet how am I to attack this gargantuan beast? Testing the explosive power of the bomb rocks the yellow Pikmin unearthed may prove valuable. I know, but... Oh my god, I suck. My numbers have dwindled. There is no hope anymore. But there is always hope! As a wise rabbit pilot once said, use bombs wisely. There's another deposit of them up here. 
Get another one over there. I'm gonna need every bomb I can get. Oh my god, what? Guys, why would you do that? Why would you do that? You woke him up! Shoot. Shoot, my Pikmin so eager to please me freaking screwed me over. I should have paid more attention. I should have paid attention to who was following me. Guys, I don't know how it happened, but I got really bad at this game. I think we can do this, though. I think if we really just... If we really just abuse bomb rocks, I think we can make up for how many flowers I've lost. Everybody's up there on the ridge. You can't hurt them up there. Okay, Reds. Okay, Reds. This is all you. Oh, no. Shoot. Shoot. God. No time, no time to think. No time to organize them into neat little piles. You just gotta go. You just gotta do it. Oh, I was too close to the blast. Alright, hit him. Hit him hard. Hit him hard and hit him fast. Okay, guys. Gotta, we gotta get around him. We gotta weave around him. Ah, uh, shoot. Good. Good job. C-sticking. C-stick is pro. Okay, we're gonna wait up on this ledge. We should be safe. Yeah. Yeah, you got a problem? You got a problem? You can say it to my face. You can say it to my face while I'm up here where you can't get me. Sorry, I got some reds mixed in here, but there's just, there's no time. There's no time to do this right. Okay, eat up. Good hit. Good hit. Cost me like 20 more Pikmin, but it was a good hit. <laughs> Alright, gotta abuse this. Can't play fair anymore. Time for playing fair is over. Oh, there's grass up here. I've never been so happy to see grass in my entire life. Okay, you guys, get bombs. Get bombs, you're gonna need every bomb you can get. Find them? You find them okay? There's a lot in there, I'm sure. Whoa, that's so many bombs. How many bombs is that? So many. Alright. Let's do it. Smile, you son of a bitch. Alright. Ah, oh, he's hopping again. Ah, oh, he hopped on more bombs. Those bombs aren't gonna do me any good if he's not eating them. Fast, fast guys, fast. Run like the wind. Am I out of yellow Pikmin? I am. I'm out of yellow Pikmin. Okay. Got a few more bombs left here. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry it has to be like this. For my family. For Hokitate. For the dolphin, for Lucky Charlie, it will end this day. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's not over. It's not over. Oh, he has so little health left. He has so little health. Come on. Come on. 
Guys, we can do this. I know we can do this. I believe in all of you. Believe in yourselves the way you believed in me, please. Alright, we're gonna need another group. Guys, we can't do this alone. Ugh! He's so vicious, he was glitching into the screen. There's more bombs up there. There's a few more bombs. I could do it with that. I could do it that way. I'm gonna have to. He's hopping. Oh man, a few went in as a distraction. <laughs> These Pikmin, they will do anything for me. I promise I'll find a way to repay you someday. I will name my children after you. I will have hundreds of more children. First one's... Oh, no. No, Pikmin landslide. No, 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 no. Okay, he jumped the wrong way. He jumped the wrong way. Eat the bombs. Eat the bombs. Eat them. Eat the bombs. Yes. Yes. That might be it. You're out of here! At long last! I found the final pot! My secret safe! And it's as full as ever! How glad I am that I've persisted in my search without losing hope! Now, I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hokitate. It's over. Ah. Oh. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Ah, oh, we did it, guys. We did it. We didn't do it very well, but we did it. We've defeated the Emperor Bo Blacks, and we've beaten. We've beaten Pikmin. Take back some of these spoils. You guys deserve... You guys deserve something nice, too. Oh, God. There it is, my trophy. My ultimate reward. All of this in the name of money? No, all of this for my family's well-being. Olimar needs that money. That's all the money he's made. I had to save my family. I'm just sorry it came at the expense of yours. Oh, no, they, they seem pretty happy. Do you think the Pikmin are even aware? I finally recovered every ship pot. Now I can return home to Hokitate. Oh my gosh. You guys might think I'm being overdramatic. I am being just dramatic enough. Ah, oh, my heart. We did it. Final look back at at the ones who made all this possible. Gives them a little wave. It's like they're none the wiser. They don't even know. They don't even know how much they've done for me. <sighs> Got all histrionic on this. Seriously, though, I love this game. That is the worst I've ever done on that boss. Easily, easily the worst. Except for, like, the very first time I ever faced it and I was scared and confused. But look! I love this. This is only in the, like, 100% ending. If you got all the ship parts, you see the Pikmin who have learned how to fight, who have learned how to take command. Finally leaving this planet. This planet that we know as Earth. Look at all these different onions. Look at them, and they all come in all these different colors. There's a green one. What are green Pikmin? Beautiful. 
It's small and it's dorky. And there's a lot of negative space, but it's beautiful. It's just, I don't know. I feel a special connection with Holomar. I just, through all of his, like, journal entries and, like, all of his inner monologues, I just really want to get him home. And we did it. We're going home. So, how did we do? We got 30 parts in 25 days. Lost a total of 1,087 Pikmin! I'm using a new memory card, so I can't really show you, like, how many, like, what my past records were. Only 238 survived, but I've taught them. I've taught them how to, I've taught them how to fight and, and best, uh, procreate to, to farm other Pikmin, so I think they'll be fine. 1,538 Pikmin uh, sprouted. Got all the ship parts, all the ones I needed. All the ones I needed plus the five extra ones. We are saving this puppy. So do you think it was supposed to be this, like, super deep connection that it was Earth? Um, I definitely... I have a lot of theories about that, actually. Um, and I'll share those theories sometime. But I think I want to save them. I want to save them until I eventually play Pikmin 2. Pikmin 2 is not going to be the next short play, though. Guys, thank you much... Th thank you much. Thank you so much... <laughs> for joining me on this Pikmin 1 journey. Sorry you had to watch me be kind of bad. I didn't figure out um, sea stick throwing until very late in. I forgot a lot of things. I lost a lot of Pikmin senselessly. There is so much Pikmin death on my hands. Um, 1,087 Pikmin deaths on my hands. I'm awful. Uh... But I hope you had fun watching me. And, you know, sometimes sometimes when the Let's Player just utterly fails, that makes it even more fun. Right? North American localization. You go, guys. Great job. Great English translation. Um, is the North American... Are they just in charge of, like, translating and stuff, the localization? Like, do they also have anything to do with, like, the ones that go to England and... Well, I mean, all those countries in Europe where a lot of you guys are hanging out? I don't know. Maybe. Like, are they responsible for that? Either way, um, they're awesome because I love the I love the translation of this game. I find it very charming. Uh, some of the top... I mean, Emperor Bullblax obviously was the big killer. Took out a lot of my guys. Um, Beady Longlegs also did a number on me. Did a huge number. And the Burrowing Snagrits, they took a lot, too. Um, Armored Cannon Beetle I did pretty well against, though. Puffstool. Puffstool went pretty well. Never lost too many to Bull Borbs. Bull Bears got me a lot. Oh! And we get a little uh, fanfare of all the different ones. Got the Armored Cannon Beetle. I love the Armored Cannon Beetle. He's one of my favorite designs, actually. This episode's gonna be so long, I don't even care. Uh, Beady Longlegs wrecked me. Wrecked me so hard. Man, I forgot about this credit sequence. Breadbug. Breadbug's another one of my favorites, because he's just... He's just a little fatty. You're just a little chubster, aren't you? He looks like a loaf of bread. Or like a little, like a little bun. A little roll. Burrowing Snagrets, screw them. Whoever's doing this, um, whoever's doing this run for the camera isn't doing a very good job at fighting them. You don't want to proc all three of them at the same time. Candy Pops, Candy Pop Buds get their own entry because, uh, because Olimar is concerned with both the flora and the fauna of this world. Maybe I should use this as a bonus video. Do you like my commentary on this? The Dwarf Bull Bear, with its 
glowing red eyes. Nearly fully developed. What, what is it? Like, it's almost an adult? I mean, I guess it fully develops and then it just grows. The dwarf Bulborb. Similar in appearance to Bulborbs, these belong to a totally different species. Right. Yeah, I was saying that. I knew that. I knew it said that somewhere. This jerk. Uh. He's like, what's up? Fiery blowhogs. Took out a few of them when I was not paying enough attention. I like how they kind of look like torches. They kind of look like acetylene torches. Got the swooping snitch bug. Hate these guys, too. Though, these guys I hate from, like, my childhood, though. They've really, um... They don't bother me so much anymore because now I'm good enough to take them on. This is one I didn't fight. The the amoeba thing. Um, this I fought Mamuta instead of this. The Gulix, that's it. Watery gelatinous membrane protects the creatures. Yep. Um, there's a theory that that thing actually spawned from the meteorite. Whoa, I would have loved to see the honey wisps in a little parade like this. This, this seems awesome. Collects nectar for the lava waiting in its nest. Or for the Pikmin who take it from him. The Iridescent Flint Beetle. I remember more of these names than I thought I did. I just... I was all about Pikmin and Pikmin 2, like, when I was in school. I want to say Pikmin 2 came out, like, while I was in middle school. Pikmin 1 was, like, 5th grade for me. 4th or 5th grade. Amuta. They do like flowers. And these are the, the clams. I don't know exactly what they're called. Uh, the Pearly Clam Clamp. Small pearls are thin and fragile, and for some reason, procreate Pikmin seeds. All right, we got a pellet flower, a oh, pellet posy, excuse me. Like how you can see the crashed dolphin in the background, this is clearly on day one. The puff stool, screw this guy, though he actually didn't give me too much of a problem. Um, puff stools, funny thing about puff stools is they're also enemies in Legend of Zelda, but like, because Olimar is so small, the Puffstools are really, like, only, like, chest high. Not even. Puffy Blowhog. Screw these guys, also. Um, what are these? Shear Grubs, right? Male and female Shear Grubs. Males of this species are purple and have an armored head. They're also the only ones that attack. The female ones actually never attack you, but they do eat bridges. These are the Shear Wigs. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're only ever fighting male ones. That would make sense. Smoky Prog. I wanted to fight him. I never got around to it. Yeah, thought to be, like, a malformed of the Bermuda. Um, that was pretty scary. That That's why when I was a kid, I was afraid of the distant spring. That and these guys, the bull bears. But uh, I, like, saw the egg, and I was like, oh, this seems like something important. And I cracked it open, and Smoky Prog comes pouring out of it and chases me all the way back to my base. That is a that is a great face. That is, that is some good Snapchat material right there. Something about, like, characters that Miyamoto created, or at least had a hand in. Um, they have really funny exaggerated features and they make these crazy faces. They're, they're so, like, dorky. Water Dumples, I especially just like the names. These are the Wogpoles. Getting towards the end here. Yes, the walk bowl. Oh, specifically yellow wallywogs? So that means there are baby yellow woggywogs in the Forest of Hope. The regular wallywog? Okay, so the regular wallywogs are only different from the yellow ones because they're subterranean, so they don't get they don't get a lot of sunlight. That makes sense. That yeah, pretty smart game, pretty smart. The yellow wallywog. Um, these guys are okay if you know how to handle them, but they're a pain, and I usually get impatient, and then they kill a bunch of my Pikmin. The happy end. Huh. <sighs> we did it, guys. Gonna take a few days off from short playing, um, probably about a week, but then you'll see my next one. Uh, it's going to be another Nintendo game. It's gonna be a newer Nintendo game, and it's going to be a blindly done Nintendo game. 
So, I've already said it a hundred times, but it bears repeating. Thank you for joining me for Pikmin 1. This has been the Comic Foil, and... This is one of my favorite games from my childhood, so I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later.